How long and, and, should we wait? It's been a month or two now, right? It's been a month or two. And identifying yeah. identifying what happened, because we all had questions. We all had questions. I had questions. I'm like, you know, this happened. I don't know what happened. What actually happened? I, do, I don't know what happened. Now that we know what happened, it's fine even discussing it. It's fine discussing it. My what I'm what I took issue with is I felt, and I could be wrong, you know, there's an interpretation from a from a tweet, but I felt that it wasn't about the tweet didn't go out about, you know, guiding the young the youth and saying, you know, you probably should stay away from doing this because this you're ultimately hurting yourself and endangering others. To me, the tweet was more of, okay. That stuff wasn't about, it wasn't about race. It wasn't about any of those things. Adam Schefter was, was, it, was right in the way that he communicated about Dwayne Haskins, right? His parents refused attending the, the Pittsburgh Memorial Service. That's because they had, like, to me, if that's the tweet, then that, what it implies is, is, is more of a, a fight against this culture of you know this this culture of, of wokeism and all that all, all the stuff that is, is being uh discussed and i feel like when in, in death this is not necessarily the time to use that right i mean in the discussion Got to. you have the ability to do more, to. More, more talking you have the ability to communicate more so you can mention it but you can also highlight the fact that okay he had you know he had a bright life ahead of him all that stuff and twitter is hard to do that I, 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 I want to end on that point because I think you've made a great point. I, I, I think you've made a legitimate, fair point. In death, hey, Whitlock, keep your little war against woke culture out of it. I disagree with you, but I think it's a fair point. And, and I get where you're coming from. I, I'll just say this again, though. I'm trying to make a bigger point about, like, because I truly believe the truth sets you free. And we have no reason to fear the truth. Even bad truths that make us look bad. The truth is actually our liberator. And, so, and that's a biblical worldview. And so I just don't fear the truth. Other people, a lot of our culture, fears the truth. We think, oh, the truth damns us. And I just don't believe that. The truth actually sets us free, even the uncomfortable truth. I, Ch Chimdi, I want to thank you for the time. Uh, you handled yourself very well, and I, th I love the points you made at the end. I think it's a fair point. I disagree with it, but I think it's a fair point. Thank you so much.